In The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the Nintendo team has put in all sorts of interesting easter eggs and unintentional weirdness, so we're always entertained when we ask the question, what happens if? Like, what happens if you take Pura to Love Pond? What happens if you sleep at a campfire on top of Colton's balloon? And what happens if you do the talking cuckoo quest while wearing the full Yiga armor? Let's find out. All right, Peter, what happens if you take Pura on a date to Love Pond? <laughs> well, first you have to dress really nicely, which means Ravio's hood <laughs> and your Hudson construction shield. Yeah, if I, if I look at this right, it looks like she's on a date with Hudson, actually. <laughs> we have Pura. You know, Pura and Hudson. Well, he's married. I know, but like... <laughs> Hudson married his wife and they had a kid and the kid looks like she does and that makes sense. A, that guru. Oh, you're lady. saying like if they had a kid, what yeah, would the kid Yeah, I'm just imagining like? like... Like a white-haired... Oh! Pearl, hold on! Well, see, Sorry. okay, with my, with my machine, I've got to recharge it every once in a while, but this is kind of the only uh, way to get there. Uh... That Pura. look on her face, that's what my wife does when we fly in a regular airplane. <laughs> you know, it's okay if you're crying on our date, Pura. Especially if it's raining, because I can't tell. Yeah. I do my crying in the rain. <laughs> this date is horrible. You ready? We're almost there. We only got a few more hours. I gotta be careful, though, because if you, like, turn away from Pura too much, or the camera goes off her, she despawns. She just warps back to lookout landing. Yep. What? I love how portable she is, though. You know what? Oh, I just realized something. You could have two Puras. All you have to do is get, like, outside of the range, probably, and then bring her back. Oh, there it is, Pura. Our oh. date. It's our location. It's We're gonna... the butt lake. No, oh, it's wait, a heart. I'm, I'm looking at it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Pura, see? Over here we can have nice... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Hey, Aura. A little bit of a rough landing. She's amazingly stable, though. It's like somebody gorilla glued those shoes to the flying machine. And she's emotionally stable. Here we go. Just got to get a nice little me memento of our wonderful time together. Come Wait, on, I, Pura. I need one with a lake. Try to, try to look looking like at the you're camera. having fun. Oh, wait. Oh, she's the back looking of at the head. lake. Well, I got the lake. I proved, I proved that we were there. But... Hey, her hair kind of looks like the same heart as the lake. <gasps> it's meant to be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she looks a little bored She's with like, Link. Oh, are you serious? This date is the worst. Where's the food? Where's the movie? Yeah, where's, where's the, the flowers? Well, I guess there are a few flowers. Where's the scenery? Where's well, the, I guess there's Where's the scenery. pond? Oh, wait. Here we go. That's better. If I do it right, I can have this be the picture of my forest dweller's bow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. There you go. There's your flowers. You got some oh. Sunday lions for you. Sapphires. Women like jewelry. We'll save the diamond for uh. someone else. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice, but I got a little surprise for you, Pura. It's not just Love Lake. I'm taking you on a tropical vacation. What happens if you put flowers at Sonia's grave? Ooh. Yes. This is a good one. Just give me. It's a tragic tale. It's a sad story. One that... It's a furloined fable. <laughs> we won't spoil, but... There are already some flowers growing at this grave, and we need to maybe add a few more. What if a Korok pops out? All I did <laughs> was <laughs> take him. I yeah. was in the grave! <laughs> <laughs> you resurrected me! <laughs> I'm a Korok now! Lazarus? <laughs> Oh. oh. Well, nothing in the game happened, but I felt a little sad. <laughs> <laughs> I got Maybe. a little hungry. Do you think that was because of what we did? <laughs> Maybe more flowers. We just need more flowers, I think. Yeah, it made me want to <laughs> bake. Oh, because flour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cake. Yeah, cookies. Yeah. yeah. Pie crust. Maybe some more flowers. <laughs> That's what it needs. <laughs> there. That's a lot of flowers. That is a lot of flowers. Wow, look at them go. They're so sparkly. You know what this needs? More flowers? This needs a picture to remember. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my picture of Sundalions. <laughs> <laughs> what happens 
if you don't choose a heart here, but instead choose stamina. <laughs> the very beginning. You can't open the door. You're you get stuck here forever. <laughs> oh, oh, they don't even give you the option. Oh, man. Nintendo, you thought of almost everything. All right, what happens if you set a campfire on top of Kilton's balloon and then sleep till morning? Let's try it. He shouldn't be there anymore. Where will we be? Well, it's not Kilton. This is Colton. the other Colton. Colton's balloon. Wait, is Colton the original? No, Kilton's the original. Colton so, is the weirdo. So now <laughs> they're both weirdos. So the other one took over this. Yeah, Colton took this over. How? What okay. happens if you set yourself on fire? Here we go. Um, how about noon? Sure. He won't be here at noon. Ah, I'm just gonna sleep in on the shop that disappears at sunrise. <laughs> Didn't bounce or anything. The slow, like, fall, too, was really strange. Okay, Peter, what happens if you get into Queen Gibdo's area early? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's see. Can you even get in there early? Well, it's right above. I know you can ascend up through, through the floor of, like, the outside. So I'm assuming maybe you can ascend up through... Well, you can't ascend into Pura's here. house before she comes out. You yeah. have to triple clipple. Yeah, you have to clip through to do that. And it's no easy feat because it's. Oh, hey, look, it's this spot. Double box. Okay, let's see. Can we get in there? Oh, I think we're in her room. Uh. Whoa, we're in here. Oh. They just totally let you. Ah. Uh. Do we fight? No. Oh, the door opens so you can get back down? Oh, interesting. Okay, so... They know like, kind of what's going on. Don't soft lock them. But hold on. There's, <laughs> there's no Queen Gibdo, though. Doesn't Queen Gibdo live up here? I don't know. Where is she? She's Christmas shopping. But there's the secret stone right there. Look at that. There it is. I wonder if, like... You could clip through this. That's a good. Co oh my gosh! If you got the stone without fighting the boss, that would be awesome. Be I do want to get on top of one of these mushrooms. Can we use auto builds in here? <gasps> you can. Oh, I'm getting on top of one of these mushroom things. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Did I bring a mirror shield up here? I didn't. Yeah. Although it's, it's worth a try. Old. That door just closed behind us. I remember opening that door felt like such a big deal. But now all it means is, oops, you got up here too early. Look at a tropical beach resort. <laughs> oh. It's all inclusive, Pura. It comes with a cabana boy in the background. Yeah, we're going to get, you know, a hut. Ah, we're going to get Do a some little fishing. Bit, get get ready for some swimming. Yeah. Get, maybe get a little sunburn. Swimming with the women. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. She w it's tough because you can get close, like the camera closer to her, but then you have to stand behind her. So then yeah. he looks small and that's weird. Let's go on a boat ride. Yeah, it really looks like we're in the bayou now. This, <laughs> this date has gone from bad to worse. <laughs> Whoa, what? Again? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, I crashed! Oh, oh Pura! We're smoking! It's a good thing her foot's <sighs> stuck in that goo. I broke the radiator. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of roadside recovery here. <laughs> oh no, it's on fire! Call AAA! Oh gosh, uh... You got a trip? <laughs> Pura, do you have AAA? <laughs> Can I borrow your card? <laughs> oh, she's no longer on the goo. She is actually, well, I mean, she's kind yeah, of stuck to the ground. She slips and slides a little bit. Hopefully I can get there. Well, that's, see, that's the question. But I, I think don't this know. thing might float. We, we didn't, we might, uh, we didn't I don't stop know and count off. the fuel. I know, I know, if I know one thing, I know that hoverboards don't work on water. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing you know, if you know one thing? <laughs> yes. I learned it from a documentary about the future. Look at Pura. We're here. We've made it. It's a tropical destination. Undisturbed by mankind's industry. Except I think there's a shrine around here somewhere. You could be all like 
anthropology and stuff. Yeah. I know how you like science. We could study the uh, indigenous animals. Although, is anthropology really a science? Some would say no. Nope. <laughs> Somebody help me! They don't <laughs> believe in anthropology! <laughs> <laughs> Anthropology, astrology, all those aologies are just kind of a little iffy. Just ologies in general. Sociology. Apology. <laughs> I think you need to apologize for me for how wet and rainy this entire date has been. It's not my fault. I hate the rain. I don't believe in apology. <laughs> <laughs> Fly machine <laughs> to end all fly. Oh, no. Um, oh. Oh no. Oh, Perron, come back! <laughs> Baby, come back. Oh no. My girlfriend. She's gone. Presumed dead. <laughs> I need a memento of my girlfriend that uh, is no longer with us. May she sink in peace. Ah, yes. This is the one. Oh, there we go. Now I can always remember the wonderful date that I had with Pura. At, at, uh, and then, and then she disappeared in the ocean. <laughs> We're calling you out, internet. Put a better <laughs> picture in your Link's house and show it to us. Doesn't have to have Pura, just impress us. Look how handsome I am. Just admiring my abs, don't worry about it. What happens if you muddle, bud? A big boss will coblin. I don't know, but I'm glad I'm not one of the little not boss will coblins. AKA the rank and file will coblins. Say go. your prayers and eat your muddle buds. Oh no! I'm big and fat and angry and confused. Get in the oh. ring, Tulin. Boy, he's lucky he missed. Shielded. Oh, he's like horned oh. him. Oh! You want to play rough, huh? He says. I got it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even see it coming. <laughs> oh, it's amazing! Okay, so what happens if you attach a bunch of Zonite rockets in a circle and then fire <laughs> them off? Will they spin like Like a fidget spinner from heck? <laughs> That's pretty, uh... Pretty good circle Pretty there. solid circle. Look at that little green wreath on the ground. Oh! Reminds me of Christmas. That's so cute. <gasps> what? Whoa! What? That was really wrong. That was weird. That it was, was like <laughs> slow, <laughs> but it went up just a little bit too. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah, me either. <laughs> what happens if you muddle, buddy Yiga? Let's find out. He's oh, here. That would be cool. Got them both, theoretically. Ooh, are they immune? I got him, but he didn't muddle butt at all. And try him again. Okay. Yeah, you definitely got him Nailed there. Nailed him. Nothing. Yeah. Yiga clan members are immune, dude. Try smoke. Smoke pellets? Yeah. I feel like these will affect the Yiga. Yeah. Yeah. He's lost now. <laughs> what happens if you take Pura to one of the those stable quest places and you take a picture of her instead of the thing? Oh, and then they hang that up in the stable. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna go to uh, Dude, the Temple of Time. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a picture of the, the Temple of Time statue, right? But Pura? <laughs> You okay? She's very surprised right now. She's like, where are we? Why are you just, Why do you keep zooming in and out? <laughs> just, I'm trying to get the perfect shot, okay? Oh, not you. Look at the camera! Pura! Pura. Pura, down here. Hey! Over here. <laughs> She's like a child. Get some keys to jingle. Dingle, dangle, jingle. Oh, this is better. Yes. Yes. Almost. I Temple just gotta give her a little statue. bit of headspace. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the Temple of Time statue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hang it. Let's see. I'd really like a picture of the Temple of Time statue for my stable. Did you get it? Yeah, take a look at this. <laughs> she does. She certainly stands tall a and tranquil, doesn't she? 
you bring me a picture of the great goddess statue? Can I see it? I brought you a picture of a great goddess. <laughs> uh, that one. This one's better. This is exactly the picture I asked for. <laughs> this would really help liven up the look around here. Is it okay if I paint a copy? Yes. Whoa, she is tremendous, both in terms of size and tranquil beauty. <laughs> She's quite tall. She's quite tremendous, yes. <laughs> both in size. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell her that. <laughs> She'll get offended. She said, what can I say? She's a giant stone carving. What a divine figure she cuts. It's as if my heart is fuller just looking at her. Mm -hmm. You and the rest of the internet, buddy. <laughs> hey, there it is. Nice. <laughs> it's so big. I know. I it's love just this really big. just a big picture of her right there. <laughs> what happens if you talk to the cuckoo that knows all as a fully dressed up Yiga clan member? Oh, will it be fooled? Will the cuckoo... Or will it go through its normal like link dialogue? We're going to have to find out. That's a good question. I yeah, don't know. Is, yeah, yeah, I don't either. Because the Yiga outfit does change a lot of like those dialogues. It does. Where you go and talk to the Yiga that's dressed as a tree. He's like, get out of here. Quit distract. You know. Right. You're going to throw Link off. We're trying to trap our enemy. Yes, I'm trying to get an actu a lead from actual poultry. Yes, I want to take your place. Yeah, I'm a Yiga. I also want to take your belongings as well. <laughs> Hey, maybe don't get in line before you're ready to ask your question. Thy name? What is thy name? <gasps> I sense it! You are Link! Wow. It knows. This chicken really does have clairvoyance. The rest is so... It does, though, because the, all the rest of the Yiga are fooled by Link's outfit, except this, Master Koga. Yeah, this cool. maybe this one is Master Koga. Fan theory, the cuckoo is none other than Master Koga posing Master as a cuckoo. Co Cuckoo. Master Kuga. <gasps> Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. Okay. Let's do it. So, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of different dialogue things that happen here. I wonder if we're going to fool the cuckoo at any point of them or... Yeah, or it'd be interesting say to see. Right. I would imagine that either it's right at the beginning or right at the end that the dialogue changes. Yeah. So it's worth giving it a try. You remember how to do this? Yeah. Remember how to get this done? Yup. You gotta use Ascend. No, I mean, you can climb it, too. No. But that depends much on the climate. Yeah, and the climate's changing, so... Yep. We finished. 22 seconds. What's your time, Basement Dwellers? Put it in the comments. I want to know how quickly you were able to do that. More. Exactly the same. Can you do redo that trial? It gave you the time. Or you just had to do it in the time limit. It wasn't like, this is your record. Yeah, I don't think... Because there's some stuff in the game that offers you a better prize if you can beat your own record or beat a certain benchmark or whatever. Yeah. Just do whatever it takes. Prepare yourself. I wish it laid an egg once in a while. <laughs> There's three trees right there. It's almost like they were provided us by the Lord. Now, if Ubisoft had made this game, they would have forgotten to put trees nearby. Do they never give you what you need? I don't know. I'm Are just they like on Ikea? A, picking on a company. Yeah. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm three screws short. Actually, I have never had that happen. I think people just worry about it happening. Yeah, because it would be a disaster. Because it takes so stinking long to drive to Ikea. And, and that's true for everyone. And you know they have they have their own proprietary Swedish screws. Oh yeah, you can't just go to the <laughs> hardware store. No, of course not. No, you need their weird Swedish screws. <laughs> you got to have your screws. It's one of the Swedish screws. <laughs> they turn the other way. <laughs> oh, cluck cluck. Well, it's been entertaining. So naive, so trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. We can't I'm believe you cuckoo. didn't fall for our outfit. I know, I'm surprised. We got you right where we want you, everyone. Get him and finish the job! Whoa! The all-clucking cuckoo. Yeah, he's not fooled. Now it's the all-dying Yigas. Where are the other ones? What do you mean? Well, there's three suddenly, so they must have been in hiding silently somewhere else. Yeah, they were in the tree, maybe. 
Or that cuckoo was actually three Yiga. Stacked on top of each other? Like left wing, <laughs> right wing. Like, like the, the little rascals of inside of a inside of a cloak. <laughs> or like a jacket. Exactly. <laughs> three Yigas stacked on top of each other in a chicken suit. <laughs> <laughs> Let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Be prepared? I wasn't aware that my horn was in need of repair. Yeah. Hey, there's my partner. Oh. Just like I'm going a good long think to the all clicking cuckoo. What's the story? Turns out it's a bunch of Yiga, unlike me. Oh. I'm a fake Yiga. <laughs> They're real Yiga, a fake cuckoo. I'm Link. <laughs> if you like this video, you'll probably like this one where we see what happens if you break into Pura's house early. We'll see you over there in, in the, the basement. basement.